let's move back to uh, back to Saturday morning and West Virginia twenty seven, Virginia Tech twenty one, and you want to talk about frustrated? I I bet Virginia Tech. I knew the line stunk. I knew it stunk, and yet I, I still know. ran into it. And I I'm telling you, this and we game, had a shot at the end to win. It, it wasn't just at the end; it was just the entire game. Like they. All right, so I'm I'm pulling well, up. Well, when the, they uh, get down twenty one nothing, I think I, I'm tearing this ticket up, and it's worthless. You know, you can use it to wipe your ass with. Okay. Yes. So, yes. so I don't I don't think we have a chance. And then by we get to the fourth quarter, we get to the middle of the second half, and I'm thinking, hey, baby, I'm in this thing. I'm a, I'm a live dog here. So it was it wasn't twenty one to nothing. It was uh, it was fourteen to seven, and then it goes to twenty one to seven, and then it's twenty four to seven at the half. That was it. That was yeah. that was when I that was halftime. That's when I thought the ticket was gone. A missed field goal at the end of the first half. Jesus, Christ. that hurts. They they had a turnover on downs at the West Virginia twenty five. Uh, they had a fourth and one that they could not get. So that one could have been turned into points. They in the second half they go down twenty seven to seven after that first drive, and then they give up no more points after that. They had to punt. They score a touchdown. West Virginia fumbles, and then Virginia Tech drives all the way to the West Virginia six, and. They go for it, fourth and goal, do not convert, but that's okay because another three and out from West Virginia's offense. Virginia Tech comes right down and scores another touchdown, and then West Virginia throws an interception. Bam. Jarrett Dagey, by the way, the pick. Looked, looked like a Heisman candidate in the first half, and this is the defense that stifled Sam Howell, who is now that's throwing right. He's throwing uh, touchdowns as if they were quarters, and you're just flipping them into like a wishing well, right? Like yeah. just ridiculous. So then you get back down the field again, you get, you get an I interception. Needed, we need we needed that pick to go to the house. Oh yes, we needed that pick to go to the house because I didn't believe they were going to score when they got the ball back. They had all momentum, yes. but I just felt like it was going too good for me, and it was all going to fall apart last minute. And it did. They get first and ten at the West Virginia seventeen. They get it all the way down to the four, and well, they get it down to the three, and then when they, they run for. The, I thought we were money. I, I, I thought so. I was I was digging the. Digging the ticket out of the garbage. Trying to take it back hey, together. Paul Riggs jumps in. He said, good defense. We had six sacks. Yes, West Virginia played well enough to win this game. 100% played. Yeah. That offense it was almost a weird, gave it was away. It was a weird game. It was a weird, wild game. Oof. Matt Miller said the Big 12 is going to be interesting because there's one really bad team and no great team right now. Hey, that, you're talking about college football, brother. <laughs> there are no great teams. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.